Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We got a good one for you today. Uh, we're going to get it's big fight week again. We just had a big fight. Now we're getting another big fight. We got Ryan Garcia and Oscar Durante. What I think is going to be a really good fight. I wanted to go one way with it. I just can't do it. Uh, I'm going to restart. Uh, you know, we'll get into all that. Uh, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Follow me on all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every big fight. show you how to bring down the house. I don't gamble myself, but if you do, I'm going to show you how to make money on, 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 on boxing betting. Okay? Um, the, the, I can do this for you. The odds makers, the, the, the Boxing Bookies, they don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to handicap the sport. I do. We went 3-4 and four again last week. We're absolutely killing it. If you follow me. Um, and, and, and you take all of my advice, you're gonna make so much money, right? Like it's really a second source of income for you. Um, so 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 quit, you know. Um, your your side hustle, and this is your new side hustle. Um, but also please subscribe to the other channel. Uh, that, 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 that Texas boxing scene that's completely dedicated to Texas boxing. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right. Uh, it, it is. Okay. Let, let's get into this. Ryan Garcia versus Durante is a good fight. This is not a tune-up fight. This is not a get-right fight. This is a, a dangerous fight. And I think it's poor matchmaking by Golden Boy, honestly. I think it's too dangerous of a fight. Uh, they're already having problems with, with Ryan to take get Ryan and get him another loss, which is possible. Durante is good. Um, it is, I, I think, a really bad move, um, especially when he got brutally knocked out like he did with Tank to fight a guy. We saw steamroll Alex Martin. We saw the steamroll D'Angelo Keys. I mean, he was having trouble with Alex Martin until he stopped him. Um, you know, he's having trouble figuring him out. Um, Ryan's not really a cutie like Alex Martin is. Uh, um, but I, I think Ryan's going to box him. We're going to get into that in just a minute. Um, and then we saw him just absolutely annihilate D'Angelo Keys, who I like. I, I know him, but he's just he's a step below. He's you know he's a couple step below uh, where Durante would be. Um, uh, Ryan Garcia's quick. He's powerful. He's long. He likes to apply pressure. And I think he's going to have to apply pressure smartly here, right? Like when he fought to go, and, and a lot of people are comparing this fight to when he fought to go, and it's not to go. Actually, it was short, but he had longer reach than right. He's oddly built. And it's not a real good analogy because to go, he could fight forward, but he, he Ryan turned him into a back foot guy because he didn't like Ryan. He's not going to turn Durante into a back foot fighter. Okay, that's not going to happen. Um, so Ryan's got to apply pressure, but he's got to do it, he's got to do it educate in an educated fashion, right? Because if, if he can't get Durante to go backwards, if Durante is going to stand his ground and trade with him, he's now fighting into Durante's hands. Durante is flat footed. He's slow. He doesn't move his head much. He doesn't use his jab, but what he is is really good on the inside. So Ryan's got to maintain that distance. Don't get in close with him, right? If that means it, it becomes a little bit of a boring fight, uh, outwork him from the out, outwork him. Try to bang him with the right hand. Try to catch his attention. And when you do, let your hands go. But you can't try to walk him, walk, just walk in on him because he's not going to back down. And once he doesn't back down, and if you can't control the distance, if you let him in within arm's reach, he, he can be dangerous. Um, I, I wanted to pick Durante for this fight, and I was a little bit surprised. Uh, I, I think the odds are about right. right? I'm going to show you the odds in just a minute. I think the odds are good. I just I was expecting them to be wider because Ryan's such a star. People love Ryan. He's a bigger you known quantity, right? Like you know, So I was expecting the odds makers to kind of – Poots this, and and it might make sense to the odds become so wide it might make sense to bet Durante because he's got a he's got a chance to win this fight. He's not completely outclassed, and you're going to see that Durante is a good fighter. Um, and um, you know my my point is there's three ways this fight can end: Ryan by knockout, Durante by knockout, and yes, Durante can knock him out. Durante can go to the body, Durante can hurt him, Durante can stop. Him to the, that can happen. Or Ryan by points. The only thing I don't see happening is Durante by points. I I, I don't see that happening. Um, you know, just not 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 just because you know he can't get a decision over Ryan because he legitimately can't win you know enough rounds to win the fight. Um, but 
Durante doesn't jab. If Durante could jab, he'd be better. If he could jab, he'd be better. If he was better, he'd be – if, <laughs> if, if, if he did jab, because right, he cuts off the ring really well, right? Like he likes the pen. If he jabbed, he could jab his way in. He'd be a lot like Williams and Penn, who I think may be the best 135 in the world, and despite that one floating. But um, he doesn't use his jab, and, and, and he gets hit a lot. And Ryan's got enough pop where you don't want to get hit a lot. I don't care who you are, how good your chin is. If Ryan hits you a lot, that's gonna that's not gonna be good. Um, so I, I do think Ryan's gonna win this fight, but the it, 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 is gonna be dangerous, right? And Ryan's got to maintain the distance. He's got to use his jab. He's got to use his speed. So I, I, on paper, this looks like a great fight. Uh, I think in reality, if Ryan is smart, and remember, Ryan's got a new trainer now. With Joe Goosen, he really liked – Ryan likes to apply pressure. Joe Goosen likes his fighters to apply pressure, and he was really, really applying the pressure. He got caught by Tank, and he really didn't like the power, um, and, and you could see that. But he came out super aggressive. He looked very confident in, in, in fighting Tank. Um, and then Ryan got hit to the body, and he said he didn't want to get up because he hurt his ribs, and, you know, he didn't want to continue because he hurt his ribs. And, uh, you know – it is what it is. Right. You know, you want to say Ryan quit. And Ryan quit. Um what I, what I'm saying is that this fight it, 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 it's it's competitive. Durante's got a path to victory here. It just seems like you know he needs to pull an inside straight, right? Like, like, like he's he's waiting on on, on the you know it, it's not great odds, but he he he's not completely out class. He's not out of his league. This is not a typical tuna fight. Durante is is a good pressure fighter, right? He just has a lot of weaknesses. You know, he doesn't jab. He's flat footed. He doesn't move his head, right? So I I think his weaknesses are enough to beat uh his weaknesses are enough where Ryan's gonna beat him. But like where Ryan's weak, what Ryan doesn't like. Durante offers. Now let, let's get to let's get to the odds on this fight. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I think the fight's gonna go the distance. I think Ryan's gonna make this thing a little bit more boring. Right? I think Ryan's gonna use his jab. You know, it's his first fight with Derek James. We're gonna see how that goes. Derek James is an offensive kind of trainer, right? He's an aggressive kind of trainer. So I, I expect Ryan to apply pressure, but I, I expect Ryan to get hit. And when he does, I, I think he's going to slow down. And I think he's going to understand that he can win this fight on the outside, and, and that's what he's going to do. Um, if we look at it here, the odds of Ryan Garcia is minus 425. I think that's about right. When they announce the fight, I'm sorry, they get, I said to myself, they're going to have this thing way too wide. They're going to have Ryan at minus 7 or minus 800, and he shouldn't be. He should probably be around minus 350 to minus 450. They have him at minus 425. Uh, they have Durante is basically plus 300, all right, plus 295. Um, and, and if that was wider, if that was what I thought it was going to be, like plus 5, plus 600, I would say it might be worth taking it. But at plus 295, it's just not worth it because he's probably not going to win. Right, like I would say, there's an eighty percent chance Ryan Garcia wins this fight. Um, and then I, I really like I'm torn here. Like eight and a half, is this fight going to go eight and a half? Probably. Like I, I, I don't think Ryan is, is going to apply the pressure to get him out. So if he doesn't get him out with one shot, like he doesn't land something big, like he did with Fonseca, we're going to go, we're going to go rounds here. I, I think we're going to go rounds here. So what I would do here, and this is not my lock of the week. I, I, I don't love this, but it's a big fight, so I'm going to show you how to make money on it, right? Uh, Ryan Garcia minus 425. We're going to make a one times bet on that. That's going to pay about $25. And then uh, on the over 8.5, the over under, we're going to take over 8.5. <clears throat> That's going to make us about eighty six ninety five. So between the two bets, we're making about 100 and Ten dollars on a two dollar bet. So I'm saying, you know, if Ryan wins by points, we're, we're basically, you know, hedging this down, shaving this down to a two to a two to one fight, right? Which is not bad, right? Uh, so Ryan by UD, Ryan by split this, Ryan by UD. If you ask most people, I think that's what you're gonna get. Um, and then also, if Ryan gets a late knockout, that helps too. So I'm not gonna take Ryan by points. 
uh, by decision. I'm gonna take. I'm just gonna take the over. I, I think that's a safer bet in case Ryan does score a late knockout, which I'm not expecting him to do. I'm expecting him to to get take um, take the unanimous decision victory. Um, but that's minus four twenty five and, and minus one fifteen. So on a two hundred dollar bet, you, you, you're making about one hundred ten bucks. It's better than better than two to one. Um, it's not bad. It's it's not bad for a fight like this. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow Three D Boxing, Three D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie show you how to bring down the house. We went three for four again last week. We were absolutely on fire. Uh, we're closing out the, the, the year really really well. Um, it is November. Tw- also subscribe to other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. That's on uh, YouTube, text box, you know, YouTube, all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. It is November 26, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.